Right off the bat, I'm going to be telling you that I'm not going to be bashing Dungeons and Dragons, nor am I going to be bashing anybody else or anything to do with any tabletop RPGs or any video games in general. So it's not going to be a rant video. It's literally just going to be informative kind of thing. So if you're here for a rant, maybe stick around. You might get more out of life. So this video started because I've seen several videos pop up in my feed for my other account. I mostly follow the retro community, video games in general for this account. And the other account that I have that's my personal account, I watch a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, tabletop RPGs, indie stuff, and traveling photos and things like that. And popped up in my video because of the title of it just being Dungeons and Dragons and there's a few YouTubers that I've seen that they're fighting either for OSR slash old Dungeons and Dragons or they're fighting for new edition Dungeons and Dragons and why do we need to fight is my my just my standard just from this video. You don't need to fight. Whatever edition you like, play that edition. There's more than just Dungeons and Dragons. More to life than just Dungeons and Dragons is what I'm trying to say. Yes, I play Dungeons and Dragons. I will give you a history so that you know where I'm coming from. I started with 3rd edition. I played 3rd edition for a little bit and then 3.5 happened and I just didn't like it. I left Dungeons and Dragons because of all the mechanics they changed, everything they did, all the gray areas. It just got really convoluted and complicated and I just was like, I'm out. I started playing Call of Cthulhu, other indie games. I started playing random indie stuff that was interesting to me. I started playing more video games and just changing what I did. Remember, everybody's schedule usually doesn't change. Is their priorities change? If I'm playing something and I'm not having fun, I'm not going to waste my money, my time, my effort on something for a company who doesn't care if I exist or not. Wizards of the Coast don't care if you exist or not. They are hoping that they'll find another number in five seconds. And if they go under, they'll go under. Dungeons and Dragons, tabletop RPGs will exist and survive no matter what. Yes, it'll be probably harder to find conventions and different things throughout many little side conventions might go away because they're not getting the normal, like, whatever they can, but... I'm telling you, whatever edition you play will still survive. Even if they make the newest edition, I might hate it. I might not like it. So to say to somebody, if you don't play 5th edition, you are not supporting Dungeons & Dragons and you are not having anybody learn about Dungeons & Dragons and tabletop scene will be obsolete. And do you want to do that to other people? Do you want to stop people from not finding it? I never heard about Dungeons and Dragons. My family was Christian. We were not allowed to talk about Dungeons and Dragons or Magic the Gathering in general, but yet I found it still. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Forcing somebody with your narrative about Dungeons and Dragons, about 5th edition and how you must keep this game alive no matter what is being somewhat brainwashed. Like, are you brainwashed from your love of the game and the fact that you don't understand that you sound kind of, I hate to say it, that you are not all there. That you are so fixated on one thing because not going to, you know, assume anything, but something must not be going good for you to keep wanting to do the game you love. And I'm here to say that that doesn't work. You actually are driving people away from the edition that you're trying to get them to play. I've seen so many people fight and it's not just this edition, third edition. People were fighting over three to 3.5. When I started playing three, I was like, I really don't want to play 3.5. Let me find a group that plays three. 
And everybody's like, no, we gotta play the newest edition. You know, Wizards of the Coast just put this out. We have to play the newest adventures. And I'm like, no, we can play Ravenloft. We can play whatever in three. There's conversions. We can convert them. Not that hard. And they're like, no, we, we, we can't because they won't allow us to... It's like, who's not allowing you? Oh, the convention. They're not... Nowhere is it, and it says in the convention that you have to play the newest edition of whatever game you're playing. It doesn't say that. You are just playing it because you want to play the newest edition because it's the new hot thing that's out there. And I get it. I have, I, I, I have fifth edition books. I have fifth edition books in my bookshelf, but I don't have all the fifth edition books. I just don't like all of them. I don't like some of the campaign settings. I didn't buy Strixhaven. Didn't like it. Now, does that make me a bad person for not buying the newest Dungeons and Dragons book? No. It just means that it's not for me. If you like Strixhaven, you like going to college, you like playing the barista, you like playing whatever, you don't want any conflict, that's your game. That's your homebrew game, that's your game, your adventure, whatever you want to do, that's you. But I'm not going to be mad about it. I'm not going to be mad that you bought the newest book. I'm not going to be mad that Wizards of the Coast got another $40, $50. I don't care. I really don't care. I give money to many companies, as you can see behind me. I only support what I want to support. I only give money to games and companies and anything to do with anything based solely on what's in my prerogative, my narrative of what I like to play. And again, I don't push this on anybody. I don't tell anybody, well, if you're not playing whatever you're playing, physical copies, you don't, you're not really experiencing whatever. Some people might call me a hoarder. It's all based on your perspective in life. And to tell somebody that they are going through this world, whatever they're playing, is wrong, is, and again, a wrong narrative. So if you like first edition, second edition, original edition, you like basic, you like advanced, expert, you like anything, you like three, 3.5, you like fourth, fourth edition did horrible. That's why Paizo happened, because people were telling Wizards of the Coast, hey, we don't like this. And they said, no, we're going to push through this and we're going to do this or whatever. And we're going to keep going. And then they realized sales were going down. Yeah. You support whatever you want to support. Show them through your money that, hey, I don't like something about this. I'm not going to buy this book. That's all you need to do. And if you see something that's not good in the tabletop RPG scene, there is something going on. There is plenty of ways to get rid of those people and tell them, hey, what you're doing is not right. But not everybody who plays OSR, first edition, original edition, second edition, are bad people. There's still good people in those groups. Prime example, Luke Gygax. He plays all the editions of Dungeons and Dragons. His father was the one who created Dungeons and Dragons. He is in every scene. You ask him to play a game, he's there. He plays indie. He plays people's games that are made for homebrew. He was playing Gooey Cube. He was playing a, a round of, I believe it was first edition with Stefan. He's playing all of them. And that's what you should do. You should go around as many groups as you can that will accept you and like you for who you are. And they will tell you and support you those are the good people. There's good people throughout the, the whole community. In video games as well. Where they don't care what you play as long as you're playing whatever you love. And you have an avenue, a narrative on your YouTube channel to tell everybody what you think. You feel like, oh yeah. And again, doing something just to stick to somebody <laughs> doesn't work. If you're doing something because somebody else hates it, you're just wasting energy, time, and money on something that nobody's gonna really care about. I'm telling you right now, I don't care what anybody thinks about what I do. I do what I wanna do because there's only one life and I'm not going to waste time and money and effort on somebody who doesn't care about me or like me. 
I don't have time to make a, a, a video or a rant about something that is not going to be productive to me. I'm making this video as a love letter to everybody in the community, to everybody, to hopefully that this will start a debate and get everybody in the right path again, as we did when we started doing fifth edition. Like I saw the communities split off and go to different groups and different areas. And it got to the point where it was like, wow, Dungeons and Dragons might actually go away. Well, it, it, if it does, I'm still going to play third edition. I'm going to still play whatever Call of Cthulhu or indie game that I could play. There's still going to be something to do at the end of the day. So to everybody who is trying to fight to get somebody to play their version, their edition, you're sadly wasting your energy and you're wasting your time when it could be more productive in playing the game that you love. There is more to life than Dungeons and Dragons. There's more to life than just table RPGs that you are playing right now. But if you want to stick to whatever edition you're sticking to, more to you. Go for it. I am not about to tell you what to do. You are all human beings living this world. And we went through a lot in the last two or three years. I do not care what you do with your time. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you're not doing anything that's disrespecting a group of people. And you're just living and having fun. If you're doing that, go for it. If you are trying to waste your time on getting people to fight for the edition that you love, you might lose. And again, I'm not saying that people can't voice their opinion about their favorite edition. Go for it. I'm having fun playing all the editions that I can play. I'm literally buying reprints of old editions just to see the old mechanics and adventure and how it first started. I'm also buying from Tracy Hickman the newest game that he is making and I'm having fun with that. So at the end of the day, this is what I'm going to leave it with. There is so many editions out there and the reason why is because we all have our own preferences. I will say there is good and bad in everything that we do, and no matter what you do, you have to find the good and you have to find your group. If you're coming into this and you are debating about, oh, I don't know if I really want to start playing tabletop RPGs because I am not really good at role playing, there are groups out there who just like combat. There are groups out there who just like to fight somebody and win and have fun, and then there's also people that just like to role play and have fun also. You can find a group out there. It might take you a little bit of time. It took me a little bit of time for each edition to find somebody that I could play with that were cool, that were understanding my my little nuances and different things that I could do. You will find a group out there who likes what you do. You will find groups out there who can't stand you. Move on. Stick with tabletop RPGs. That's all I gotta say. Anything you wanna play, go for it. There are so many internet like websites out there that will help you find the group that's for you. And to everybody, play whatever edition you like. Let's stop all this. Let's just enjoy the editions that we're playing. And if you don't wanna go out to any other edition, you're not hurting anybody. You're not disrespecting anybody. And you're just living life and playing the game that we all love. So I hope you all will be respectful in the comments and if there is a knucklehead in there who is just causing chaos, ignore them. Ignore them and block them. That's all I, I say. Block is a great way to stop the chaos. And thank you for watching my video. I hope that you all will have a great rest of your day. Play some games, play at whatever level you want to play, and remember, keep on gaming, because we only live one life. Bye, everybody. Have a good one. Linda the Gamer Girl, she's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl, 
she's here, she's playing games.